Good morning, class. Our topic today is Basic Editing in Adobe Photoshop. TLE Grade 8, Quarter 1, Lesson 3, Week 4. Content Standard. The learners demonstrate an understanding of graphic design tools. Performance Standard. The learners create videos with graphics design in a safe and responsible manner. Learning Competency. Learning competency the learners will utilize graphic design tools for graphic production. Learning objectives. At the end of the lesson, the students are expected to 1. Discuss the importance of graphic design. 2. Identify how graphic design has been applied in the real world. 3. Get to know the principles and elements in graphic design. 4. Learn the fundamentals of graphic design and desktop publishing. Basic editing in Photoshop. As a beginner in photo editing, you are expected to learn the basics of image editing which are presented below. Correcting. One of the first decisions you must make in editing a photo is to see to it that the white balance is in proper tone. Adjusts color balance, hue, saturation, and contrast to correct color casts or improve overall color accuracy. Levels and curves. Allows precise adjustment of tonal range and contrast. Adjustments layers. Non-destructive adjustments layers let you experiment with different corrections without permanently altering the original image. Camera raw filter. Provides advanced controls for adjusting exposure, white balance, clarity, and other parameters for raw image files. To correct any image adjustments, go to Image Menu, Adjustments, Select any option, Brightness, Slash Contrast, Levels, Curves, Exposure. You may experiment with other options for Hue, Slash, Saturation color balance, and compare the actual result. Cropping allows you to crop images to remove unwanted parts or to focus on a specific area. The crop tool enables you to define the area to keep and discard the rest of the images. You can adjust the crop boundary, aspect ratio, and resolution before finalizing the crop. Also, keep in mind the basic rules in composition. The rule of third. Use the crop tool to remove the unnecessary part of the picture. See image below. Then click and drag the mouse on the desired part of the image you want to retain and hit enter. Resizing and compression. Allows you to resize images to specific dimensions or percentages of their original size. You can change image dimensions without changing the aspect ratio by using the image size command. Additionally, Photoshop provides options for image compression to reduce file size while maintaining acceptable image quality. Save for web allows you to optimize images for the web by adjusting quality settings, file format, and compression level to balance image quality with file size. Go to image. Image Size. Then Image Size dialog box will appear. Adjust width and height with desired unit, percent, pixels, inches, centimeters, points, picas, column. Then adjust resolution to 300 for printable quality. Resolution refers to the number of dots per inch, DPI, that appear in your image's final form. For print, these really may just be dots. On screen, however, these dots are referred to as pixels. An image with high resolution, one produced for print, for example, will look very smooth and no pixelation. Standard resolution is 300 dpi. An image with low resolution, one produced for the screen, needs 72 dpi. It may look far more pixelated if you zoom in the image. Sharpening and softening is the last of the global corrections that are often applied to digital images to enhance clarity and details. Access sharpening by selecting filter. 
Sharpen. Then select Options for Sharpen. Sharpen tool allows you to selectively sharpen specific areas of an image by painting over them. Shake Reduction allows you to sharpen image from shaking shots. Smart Sharpen provides more advanced sharpening options, including noise reduction and halo suppression with better control over sharpening effects. Unsharp Mask, a filter that increases the contrast along edges to make them appear sharp. Layering is one of the important features in Photoshop that you need to understand. Usually, every element you add in your design should have its own layer. Usually, shapes, text, and images will create their own layer once added. So, you should be mindful if you are already working in multiple layers. Applying commands or operations in a wrong layer may result in an undesirable outcome or no effect at all. You can open layer under window. Layers or click F7 on your keyboard for shortcut command. The image above has four main layers. One layer for picture, one for background, another layer for rectangle white shape, and one folder for text which has three layers of text inside. Two, worked example. Open the website Bubbled US. Complete the web concept map below by enumerating the basics of photo editing. Give a brief description of each. Save as .jpg format then upload it in Google Classroom or group chat. 3. Lesson activity. Create a simple invitation design for your upcoming birthday in a 5 by 7 inches, 5R size, photo paper with at least 3 layers.